Hi boys and girls, it's number of the weekday, and that means we have to figure out what number it is. Now, the number that we learned before spring break was the number, can you remember? It was the number 13. So that means that the number that we're learning this week comes after 13. So, hmm, what number comes after 13? Do you know? Let's count from one and figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What comes next? Did you say fourteen? If you said fourteen, you're right. Very smart. Fourteen comes after the number thirteen. So fourteen is our number of the week. So let's practice writing the number 14. You can see from my little penguin that the number 14 is a one and a four. 14, you can even hear the four in the number 14. 14, so it gives you a good clue how you write it. So when we write the number 14, we write the first number, which is the number one. So big line down, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we write the four. Now you guys already know how to write the number four because we learned the number four already. So let's do it. So if number four is a big line down, right next to that number one, and then you do a little line along like that. So what letter does it look like? It looks like the letter L. And then you jump into the middle and do a little line down. And there's our number 14, a one, and a four. Fourteen. You can hear it. Fourteen. You know that there's a four in there. Okay, there's our number fourteen. So let's put that to one side. Let me put the lid on my pen and put this onto the floor. And let's have a look at our number fourteen worksheet. So I've already done some of mine like I did last week because you guys are experts at these now. But I haven't done my number fourteen. So let's practice that again. I'm going to use my blue crayon. Now we remember, don't we? 14 is a one and a four. So where do we start our numbers? At the top, top, top. And let's follow that arrow down. One goes all the way down like that. And then a four, we're going to do that L. And then we're going to jump into the middle and do the line down. 14, easy peasy. Okay, now what I've done here is I've done 14 little dots. Make sure if you do dots like me that you make sure that you do more than just this. Because if you do that, you can't see anything. You can't count 14 if it's invisible. Okay, so let's count. Let's make sure I did 14. Let's make sure I got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I got it. So you can do circles, you can do X's, you can do squiggles, whatever you want to do, or you can use stickers if you have stickers, but make sure there are only 14. Right, let's move down to the next section. We all know how to do this, don't we? We have to use our protective eyes and our brains and figure out if it's an, the number is a number 14, and if it is, what do we do? We circle it. Let's have a look. Okay, we know this number because we learned this a couple of weeks ago. A one and a two. So we know it's not 14 because there isn't a four there. This is 12. 12. You can hear the two. 12. So is that 14? Mm -mm. So let's give that an X. X it out. Okay, we know this is a 14 and it's a one and a four. Let's give it a circle. Okay. Now the next number, a one and a six. Is that 14? Is there a four there? No, there's a six. That's the number 16. So nope, that's not a 14. Let's go on to the next one. A one and a nine. Do you know what number that is? A one and a nine. It's not a one, it's not a 14, is it? Because that would be a one and a four. A one and a nine is a 19. So mm -mm, that's not what we want. Oh. Have a look here, a one and a four, 14, let's circle it. Let's hop down here, oh look, it's our old friend. Two ones, legs 11, 
We like legs, legs 11, but we don't want legs 11 today. We want 14, so let's put an X through that legs 11, because that's not what we need. Okay, next to legs 11, a one and a six. We already had one of these. Do you remember what it's called? A one and a six is 16. So no, nope, we don't need 16. Oh, and look here, a one and a four. Hmm, a one and a four. 14, let's give it a circle. One right next door, look, another one and a four. Let's give that one a circle, that's a 14 as well. And our very last number, oh look, this was the number that we learned before spring break, a one and a three. You kind of hear the three in it, but not really. It begins with a th, 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 like three does. Th, 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 three, mm -mm, that would just be the three. Th, 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 13. That's the number 13, but we don't need 13, so let's exit out. Okay, so let's move down here. Now this is where you can do patterns. In the past, I've done circle patterns. Today, I did X patterns, and I did blue and orange X patterns. Now you know you have to do 14, fill in four of those squares with your pattern. So let's have a look if I've done it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. So I did do it right. And there's my pattern. You can see it, can't you? Blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. Fourteen X's. There are seven blue and there are seven orange. Should we count them and see? Seven blue. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, and seven orange, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus seven is 14, so we've got it right. Now look what I did here, you see these yummy ice cream cones, you know that you have to colour in 14 of them, well my favourite colour of ice cream is, can you guess what my favourite flavour of ice cream is? Is it strawberry? No, of course it isn't. Is it vanilla? No. What was my favourite? Fa my favourite flavour is chocolate. So I coloured in 14 chocolate ice creams. Yum yum. I don't think I could eat 14 chocolate ice creams, but maybe I'd like to try one day. Okay, so on the back of our worksheet, you guys can colour in your ice creams, whichever your favourite flavour is, or you can do all different ones. Totally up to you, as long as you only do 14. That's the secret, only 14. So let's turn our paper over and let's practice writing that 14 again. Let's do it five times, because remember, if you're not five yet, you're going to be. Or you have been five already, if you're already six. So let's do five number 14s. One, two, three, see my ones and fours, four, five. There we go. Make sure they're spaced apart so they don't all get mixed and jumbled up together. Good. 14, five fourteens. Now, I've got an extra little thing for you to do today, boys and girls. I have sent this worksheet for mum and dad to print off if they haven't done it already. And I've also sent them this worksheet. This is a worksheet of an, you're right, aeroplane. An aeroplane begins with our letter of the week, doesn't it? Aeroplane. So what I need you guys to do is draw 14 windows on this aeroplane. It's quite a big aeroplane. So I think you guys can draw 14 windows. I'm going to do blue again because blue is my favourite colour. So let me draw 14 windows, and this is what I want you to, to do. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Look at that, it's such a big airplane. It has two levels, one on the top and one on the bottom. 14 windows. Now, if you would like to, you can even colour in your aeroplane. You could draw some birds in the sky, the sunshine, whatever you want to do, but you must make sure that you do 14 windows and then underneath I want you to write 14. 
Okay, boys and girls? So that's an extra little thing for you to do. Make sure you do it. Show mom and dad so that you can show them what you did. 14 windows. Okay, boys and girls, so that's it. There's our number 14, our number of the week. I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.